All right, so we're going to make a braided ring like this to, in today's tutorial. Let's get started. So the first thing you want is to work out the size of each braid. So I'm going to the rectangle tool, starting from zero, enter. I'm putting a value of two. Holding shift, click, go down two, and holding shift, right click. Then I'm going to move it, 0 0.5, because that's half of the distance between each braid. So let's go to minus 0 0.5. And then if I mirror this to the opposite side, so transform mirror around the y-axis. If I measure the length between the two, it should be one more. And that's the distance between my braids. All right. So now that we have that, let's go to the ring rail. Let's make this USA size 7. Now look at the side, the length of that line is 54.452. If I don't remember that, I can always retype in length. And then I can copy that number. And starting from a line, starting from 0, enter. I can then paste that length back in. Holding shift, I can right click and that'll give me a line exactly that length. Okay, so let's move this line to the middle of our box. And actually, I should have made a copy of this first. So let's just undo this. And I'm going to edit copy, edit paste, and I'm going to move it from the zero point to the midpoint on my rectangle. All right, let's isolate this curve. So I type in the word isolate. Okay, and looking from the top view, I now want to divide this line. So I type in the word divide. I need six, which will give me 12 sections and I need that doubled. So I need 24 points. So I type in 24. Okay, I select this whole line and I'm going to mirror this. So transform mirror around the X axis. All right, so now I can go to the, in, the curve tool, interpret, and I go to the first and the third point. I draw a line there. The line I don't need anymore, I'm deleting it. And then I'm picking the short line I just made. I'm grabbing the points. And I'm going to move the last point down to the point underneath it. Okay. I can grab the rest of these lines and delete them. And then the line at the bottom I don't need either. I'm deleting that as well. All right. So this I'm going to mirror this. Mirror. Endpoint, holding shift, I meet my mouse straight up. I pick the same one, mirror it again, hitting space bar, grab the endpoint, bring it down. I'm taking this, I'm going to mirror this around the X axis, and there is our wave pattern. So these three lines, I'm going to join them into one line, and then the other line, I'm just going to remove the center spam. All right. So now let's bring back everything. I show all, and I'm ready to do sweep one. So let's go over to sweep one, select the box, enter, enter again. Okay. And now we can wire cut this to the length of those two little lines we have. So let's go to wire cut. So I type in wire cut. cut, I pick the line, enter, enter again, and the reason why it disappeared is because the shape is hollow or empty. I need to cap it, so I'm going to pick the whole shape, type in the word cap, 
to turn it into a solid. Okay, and now we can wire cut again. So I can bring the wire cut from the command line, pick my line, enter, enter again, wire cut again by pressing enter, picking the line, enter, and enter again. So the two endpoints we don't need, I'm deleting it. All right. So the next thing to do is to bend this uh, shape. So I'm going to go to Cage Edit. And I want a bounding box. Enter. And then I'm going to make sure my point counts are at 5. So I want 5. Type in 5. Enter. And my Y count to be, or my X count, 5. And enter. And then enter again. And that gives me a bounding box with these nodes. I grab the center nodes. I pick the top of the arrow. I type in point 8. It moves it up. I grab the end nodes on each side and I push in minus 0.8 and that pulls that shape down. We don't need the cage in a box anymore, so I can highlight it and delete it. Okay, and we are ready to flow the shape um, around our ring finger size. So transform, flow along curve. I pick the end point of our line, and then I pick the left side of the circle. All right, so I want to trim the inside of our part we just made away. So I'm going to hide, I select that, go to wire cut. Oh, wait, no, I need to, I hit that. Let's bring that back again. So wire cut. Pick the line, enter, enter. Okay, let's delete that. And now I can array polar. Let's select this. Let's hide everything else away. And now transform, array polar. I need a total of 12 sections. So I type in 12, enter, enter. All right, and there we go. A simple braid. The next tutorial I'll do will show you how to add stones or gemstones onto this. So let's boolean them all together to make sure it closes as one piece. It's done that and it's ready to print. All right. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this short editorial.